If you're watching mainstream media, sometimes things can get confusing. Protests are described as a violent mob in one country and a pro-democracy revolution in another. And some protests don't get any coverage at all. Who decides which protests are worthy of which labels? And why? First and most importantly, it's all about location, location, location. To all you protesters, rioters, and violent mobs out there, if you want that coveted peaceful protester label that garners nonstop headlines and Western adoration, it's crucial that you protest from a country or territory that's on the U.S. State Department's hit list. Protest against the government in Venezuela, Iran, Nicaragua, or Hong Kong, and you're guaranteed to get the hero treatment in U.S. media, and probably even some lavish funding from USAID. It literally doesn't matter why you're protesting. It could be for better living conditions or for a violent right-wing ideology, which in these places it usually is. You're pretty much guaranteed to be portrayed in a positive light no matter what you do, no matter how much violence you inflict. The same goes for protests in Hong Kong, where the US is funding a violent anti-China separatist movement that regularly beats up those who disagree with them, often flagrantly on film. They recently lit a man on fire. And how does the media describe these people? Pro-democracy and anti-government activists. Peaceful demonstration inside. It was a peaceful protest of pro-democracy activists. These so-called pro-democracy activists haven't said much about democracy. They're just anti-China. Hence, they're good, lovable protesters. You see, protests are worthy or unworthy based solely on how they impact US geostrategic interests. So protest accordingly. Good luck.